A day-long gun control protest in the United States House is over. House to be in order. The chair wishes to make an announcement regarding the decorum in the House chamber. After more than 25 hours on the floor, Democrats ended their sit-in this afternoon. Lawmakers try to force a vote on gun laws following the Orlando massacre. The Republican House Speaker called the protest a publicity stunt. Whatever the issue, this chaos in Washington left us wondering, why is it so hard to pass a bill? Good question. John Lordson looked at why the su success rate is so low. It's hard. I mean, you got to... You gotta convince people. If there's a small thing in a bill somebody doesn't like, they're not gonna pass. They don't want to pass it. I don't think it passed very often now. I'm just a bill. Yes. In the 1970s, Schoolhouse Rock taught kids about the challenges of turning a bill into law. House to be in order. The chair. But nowhere in the song does it talk about lobbyists, filibusters, or even sit-ins. There's so many steps. You got people's different points of views, just difficult back and forth. Most bills introduced die. You could think of Congress or the legislature here in Minnesota as a graveyard. Political analyst Larry Jacobs says more than 90% of bills introduced never go anywhere. They get buried in committees, mostly due to what Jacobs calls bipartisan battering. The partisan virus started in Washington, but it's now spread all over the country. During this session of Congress, only 2% of bills introduced have become law. An all time low. Is it frustrating to follow Congress? It is frustrating to follow Congress. When legislation is introduced, it's put in a committee, then it has to get a hearing. Only a very small number of bills that go to committees actually, you know, receive hearings and move through the process of being marked up and then uh, moved on. Special interest groups, foundations, and lobbyists can serve as traps and tripwires along the way. They're warning uh, those lawmakers if you vote for this, we're going to come back and defeat you in the next election. If a bill does move on, the House and Senate have to pass the same legislation before it can be signed. Even if Congress goes through that awful process uh, and passes something, it goes to the president who may not like it and he can veto it. Would you ever want to be a congressman? No, I wouldn't envy them. No. The next time you see the president signing something, just look up in the sky and wonder what angels, you know, look down with a smile. John says the party in control of the House or Senate doesn't always get what it wants either. That's because quite often politicians who are in the same party can't agree on legislation. If you have a good question for John, please email it by going to wcco.com links. Well, in the